Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm playing Carto. It's a puzzle adventure game where the gimmick is that the map is made up of movable puzzle pieces. I've never played a game like this before. I don't know if another game like this exists. It seems interesting. Apparently it's got some very tricky puzzles, but also some very easy puzzles. You know, it's like a, a curve of difficulty and a cute story from what I've heard. So I, I'm excited to check this out. It seems unique. It seems like a lot of fun. What's the deal? Dude, that's a sweet ship. Straight out of up to. Oh, the map. The puzzle mechanic. I think this will be fun. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? No. This is why you don't let kids buy expensive and important things. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's messed up. Oh god, okay. Well, uh, let's check it out. Cool world. Terrible story. I mean, we, we've we really got to save her now. What is this telescope? And we get a map. Welcome explorer, this world is yours to change. You can move any piece of the map and rotate pieces if needed. You can connect pieces with the same type of border. So <laughs> it's Dorf Romantic meets adventure, adventure puzzle game, I love it. Shaded pieces of the map are lands you haven't explored yet, go check them out. So I explore the unexplored part of the map, so it's this. And then I could place it here. And yeah, now I can explore. So, what's up here? There is this paper, floating paper. A new part of the map, possibly. A new piece of the map, very cool. Connect new pieces to the existing map to reveal more of the world. Pieces of the map have been scattered everywhere. The more you find, the bigger your world will grow. Okay, shift to pick up a new piece. I'll probably, I will wanna access this. Can I rotate, whoops, put this down. Oh, can I not put it down? Well, I can move this surely and rotate it here. So yeah, it, it doesn't need to all stay connected. Just leave it like so. Another piece of the map and a new character. Thank you very much. Let's see what you're up to, fisherman. Hello, ahoy there, little one. We don't get new visitors very often. Are your family with you? Don't think too hard about it. I see, well, no matter, all are welcome here and your timing is fortunate. For today, we celebrate the coming of age of my dearest niece, Shianan. Nice. Yes, it's very exciting. I was so distracted this morning that I forgot my bait. You'll have to do. Uh, but no matter, it won't be long now until the ceremony. And feel free to explore the island in the meantime, and I'll see you there. Well, at least you're friendly. I'm still not over the, the beginning of this. That was genuinely shocking. Alright, uh, let's go editing. Sue. This new piece with a hut. Let's send it above me. So I can explore it easily. What's in the house? A whole family. Hey, what's up? Hi, sweetie. Where did you come from? It's exciting to meet someone new. I've barely left the house in months. Girl, same. Uh, this little bundle of love keeps me pretty busy. Did you meet my husband already? He's fishing nearby. Though he's probably not catching much, that big lug left without any bait this morning. I guess we'll just have to rely on the whims of the ocean as we always have. Good thing this little ladybug likes fish, not that like that filthy little fuss pot over there. Doesn't like fish, what a sin. Hey, have you visited the other families yet? Kellen and her family were the first ones to come to this island. They live right on the sea. Saya is my sister-in-law. She lives in the forest with her family. Her daughter, Shianan's coming of age is today. I can't believe it's here already. Does anyone have a pronounceable name? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. You know, unless if I am good at this, I hope I'm good at this. I'm trying my best, okay? What's the kid have to say? Rarg. Mama said I have to be 15 before I can have my coming of age. If you're not 15, then how did you cross the sea? When someone turns 15, a boat arrives at the North Pier, a gift from the sea. The 15 year old has to get in the boat and leave the island. Forever? I want to leave forever, that's like a month? 
Well, clearly they have to recruit more people to come back to the island and join their island cult. What's in the hut? No one's inside. They won't let me inside. Uh, this is probably extremely rude. Let's find the, yeah, the next piece of paper and expand on this map. I guess they can't see me, so they have no reason to question what I'm doing. Oh, there's different types of borders. Okay, very cool. I'm gonna have this going up and travel in a forest up ahead. I'm, it's cool, there's different types of borders, which I assume I will have to attach now. Okay. Looks like there's only one thing I can do. I'm sure I'll reach a dead end. I wonder if the hard part is gonna be that there's gonna be it's gonna be really hard to configure this island. And just setting it all up is actually gonna be a real challenge. Well, still more paper around. Does it, this forest have anything else to offer? Nothing but cool leaf trees. I actually, I love how they made the trees look like leaves. I guess the bushes look like leaves too. Sure, just another little island edge with the fishermen. Let's go visit. Hmm. Oh no, you don't look familiar. Oh, you're a different fisherman i must really be lost i know it's a small island but i always get distracted on the way home the ocean is just so beautiful and full of mermaids full of mermaids this is a bit embarrassing but could i trouble you to help me home you seem to know your way around my house is west of one of the grasslands along the sea now if i could only figure out which way is west i wonder if i am supposed to change the map so it fits his idea oh west of the house on the grassland yes this all makes sense now reading comprehension 100 take you west by the sea and a house appears okay i i, I get what this game's going for now congratulations oh and another oh another paper it only appears now that everything is in its right place oh Yes, yes, this looks familiar. That's my house. That lady must be my wife. Wow, what luck. <laughs> do, you, do you know who you are? Thank you for your help, sweet child. Do you know him? Hello there. Thank you for helping my husband home. I love him, but he'd forget his nose if it wasn't attached to his face. I don't think I've seen you here before. Are you from another tribe? What are your traditions? Our people are pioneers of the sea. Once we set sail, we settle on the first island that we find. We feel so lucky that it was this one. We just love it here. Have you met Shinan yet? No, but everyone seems to talk to her. She's very- or about her. She's very special to us. It will be hard to say goodbye, but we're excited for her. I'm sure she'd like to meet you if you get the chance. Well, I did get a new map piece. Let me get this down. It's a forest piece. So I'll, let me set this up. Whoops. Oh, it, it still won't let me. See, I wanted to just place it down and then adjust some things, but I guess it just doesn't let me do that. Surely this is a decent attachment then. It's a nice little contained forest area and I can go explore it. All right, looking for another piece or maybe a person. I think a person would have showed up. I think I'm just looking for... No, wait, it's the kid. Psst. Are you looking for Shinan? She lives in a forest way bigger than this one. Are you for real? This is the biggest forest I can make. Maybe it's possible to make it bigger? Or maybe there's another piece of paper just sitting around somewhere? Oh my god, the birds leave papers. <laughs> okay, let's get crafted. Oh yeah, it's time to make a huge forest. And yeah, just, just start building. Why not connect it all? Ah, oh, there's the hut. Let's go. Okay, so find birds. They have paper in them. Sheenan, that girl. Alright. Ahem. Uh, it is me, Sheenan. Can I help you, kid? This is private property, you know. Sorry, it's been a tough few days with Sheenan. You're really very welcome here. What's this? Am I welcome enough to observe this? A she seashell necklace. Inside one of the glowing shells you find a piece of the map. Very nice. Let's talk a bit more first. Sigh. She and Anne keep saying that she'll return after she sets sa They're doing this on purpose. I can't believe this, but that's not our way. It's not the will of the sea. Once our people set sail, they must 
never return to their origin is tradition. I know, dear. That girl really boils my blood sometimes. Teenagers, am I right? But she's always done things her own way. I wonder where she gets it from. I'm sure this is hard for her too. We just have to try and enjoy our time left together. She and then probably went to the lake to be alone. Can you please check on her, young one? You seem like a good listener. What about this axe? Is said that this animal dwelled on our ancestor's island? Oh, the bear, not the axe. I've heard it's called a black bear, or a blair for short. It's hard to believe there are animals that big. I would love to see one. Would you though? Would you really? <laughs> Let me work on the map after I step outside, you know, want to keep this private. Don't want them to know I'm a literal island god. Can make a little lake here. Oh, I guess that's actually what they wanted me to do. Let's go visitor. Was good. Sigh. I'm just not ready to leave. I know it's tradition, but my family is all I have. Why can't I come back and visit them after I've set sail? Our people have had that tradition for so long, I bet they've forgotten why they do it in the first place. Not all traditions are good, you know. Sometimes we do them just because it's what we've always done. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just upset. Thank you for listening. Who might you be? Oh, no need to be nervous. I'm Sheehan welcome to our island. I'm about to leave it forever, though. My coming of age ceremony is today. I guess part of me is excited, but I'm scared that I'll be lonely out there. It might take me a while to make new friends, and adventures are always more fun with someone else. Um, I know I just met you, but would you maybe want to come with me? Yeah, probably. It might be a good idea to escape this island. You look like you'd be a good friend. Wow, really? This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to tell my parents. What about your family? Do you need to tell them too? Damn. Well, then we'll just have to go find them. Oh, there's one last thing I need to do before we set sail. Maybe you can help me. I always want to have my home close by, so I need a good handful of soil to bring with us. I just need a bit more time to say goodbye to the island. Can you please find some soil for me? You can find the best soil where the forest, the coastline, and the grassland meet. When you find it, can you please put some in this bag for me? Thanks. Oh, I can actually just put it in the bag. Okay, so it's definitely this. It has everything. Pick it up. Now, how do I put it in the bag? Uh, no idea. Let me stand in this land and activate the bag. Wait, actually, this is probably the soil. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Okay, I'm not putting the, the map into the bag. Very well. I got you. Did you find some soil? You know what? The soil looks great, thanks. Hmm, and there's a strange scrap of paper buried in it. Wow, do you want it? All yours. I think that was the last thing I needed. I'm ready to set sail. The high seas will be no match for us. Sheenan and... Cardo! Sheenan and Cardo woo. If you want to go get ready, I'll meet you at the North Pier for my ceremony. Yay. Right here seems pretty solid. I'll do a little bit of walking. That goes underappreciated in the day and age in which you can just move the earth. Alright. Time for the coming of age. Everyone's here. Who do I talk to? May I speak with you, child? Ahem. May I ask you a favor? Oh, I got a boat. Please take this memento with you. And if you meet my son somewhere out there, give it to him. The odds are low, but I'll take any chance I get to send him our love. Here's what I don't get. If this island sends off people once they turn 15, then how do they still have people here? Right. Enough talking. Let's get going. Hi, Cardo. I can't believe the boat really came. I guess I'm ready to go. What about you? Well, all right, let's leave the Toriel land and move on. Woo, let's get this ceremony started. My dearest, a parting gift for you. A necklace made from swordfish bones. May it bring you peace and perseverance and accompany you day and night. My beautiful daughter. Absolutely adorable. 
This whole game's adorable. You know, except for the beginning section. Close your eyes and feel the gentle embrace of the wind. May you find your destiny just as we found ours. We love you, Shinan. Thank you, everyone, for your blessings. I've come of age and the world awaits. We'll be right back. <laughs> she and him stopping that nonsense. She's just kidding. Uh, all right. That poodle is talking. Farewell, everyone. We'll see you later. He he. Come on, Carto. Let's ride these waves. They do not want her to come back. I'm glad she takes that in stride. That could be construed in like a really negative sense. Get off our island. We never want to see you again. Friendly octopi. Okay, the tutorial is over. We've made it to a bigger island. I still can't believe you've never been sailing before. You were a salty old sea dog out there, Carto. I'll never know how you got us through that fog. I know tradition says I'm supposed to settle on the first island I find, but I think I'll do just a bit more exploring. There's a whole world out there. This grassland does look nice though. How about you have a look around and I'll check out some nearby islands. We can meet back here tomorrow and I'm totally going to find that sunken city I swear I saw it. <clears throat> uh, okay, so let's check out the map. How big is this? Not very, but it's, it's a new world. I'm excited to do some building. Find all the map pieces I can. Oh, it's a sheep! Bah! What did I expect? Maybe there's another piece on the right side. Oh, there's a piece right in the bottom section. And another sheep! What do you have to say? Riveting. Okay. What have I got here? Whoa. What are these? It's a path, I think. Well, I will place you here. And then... What is, what is this? Is this a cloud? I mean, this kind of matches up. Plop you down. Let's go exploring. And it even, even notates the assembly of bushes. Wake up, young child. Wah! My sheep? Have you seen my sheep? I drifted off for a moment. My sheep must have wandered away. They can't get enough of the snowy flowers. Dad says they taste like marshmallows. The sheep must have overheard. Will you help me round them up? Okay. Am I able to just grab the sheep? Okay, so they like the marshmallow flowers. I guess I could put them in the marshmallow flowers. Let me just do a little bit more exploring first. What do you have to say? Right on. Keep it down there. Listening. Grow young seeds. Listen to the rhythms of the earth and emerge from your sylvan slumber. Burst forth from your terrestrial pris prison and heed my funky beats. Heed them. Right on. So, maybe he has like something else to say. My woolly babies, those fluffy jerks ignoring you. Oh, he did have more to say. They must really be into those flowers. They won't follow you unless they have something even more delicious. What's the most delicious plant in the grassland? Maybe Auntie Tuya knows? She's a rhythm farmer. Looks like Mo lost the sheep again, typical. How can you be a shepherd when counting sheep puts you right to sleep? And now I suppose he's asked you to round them up. Yep. Well, I bet they'd follow you if they had some honey fruit. Just don't confuse the honey fruit with the red devils that grow around here. We even have a song about it. Bulbs of red, sweet as sugar, only has one stem. One stem. Don't confuse it with the devil, steal, steal, er, well clear of them. So this has four stems, but it also has one stem per bulb. Oh, well, I see. This is the, this is the one. Bah? Sweet! They'll follow me now. Okay, I definitely thought I'd have to let's say readjust the island. Bradley, you found him. Just three more to go. Alright, it's a simple fetching mission. I gotta figure out what it takes to actually spawn a bulb. Oh, never mind. This is reusable fruit. I got another one for you. Veronica's safe and sound. You know anything? Only two sheep left to find. Okay, this actually is a standard fetching mission. How does that work then? Do I break the bulb up into multiple parts or... You know what? Don't think about it too much. Take the bulb. That is right. 
The issue is I have not found the final sheep. So this actually might take some adjusting of the islands. He found Silvio, what a scamp. Hmm, I don't see Penelope anywhere. She must have gone to her secret spot in the middle of the snowy flowers. Okay, so I need to create basically a middle of snowy flowers. So let's just remake this. And I'll make the map rectangular too. Middle of the snowy flowers. Okay, how else could I have a middle of the snowy flowers if this is not it? How else could I assemble that? How else could I interpret the middle of the snowy flowers? Okay, so it's just a piece of land that's surrounded by snowy flowers on all sides. It's not like in the middle of a giant field of snowy flowers that's created when you push two things of snowy flowers together. Don't I need another piece of land for this? Oh, well, maybe that's what I need to find. Because here's what I'm thinking about, right? Say if I just have a bunch of snowy flowers set up like so. Oh, it'll appear. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't have one. I'm, I, I genuinely did not expect it to appear, appear out of nowhere. Well, let's just assemble this into a nice map and go check out the new spot. Okay, so that is something that can happen. A map piece can just appear without grabbing a piece of paper. Bah? Follow me. Alright, lots of mechanics, lots of ways to work with this. Phew, you found all my sheep. Thank you so much. You're really good at finding things. Maybe you can help my dad. He's always on the hunt for new plants for his collection. Come visit our tent and I can introduce you. We live on the other side of this prairie. Just follow the road. I'll meet you there. I just need to count my sheep. Son of a... Okay, other side of this road? Wait, what? The sheep? Bah? What? <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Sheep. Very helpful. Let's assemble the road and check it out. Down I go. Oh, and it keeps going. Whoa, paper airplane. Ooh. My dear sweet Carto, that was quite some excitement. I'm sure you're scared, but my granddaughter is strong. And don't worry about me, the airship is fine, she's been through worse. Okay, good. The people of this land are kind, kind of odd, ha. Huh? And I know we'll find our way back to each other. Soon, it's in our blood. You're far from my body, but you'll never be far from my heart. Oh, and make sure that you gather any pieces of her map that you see. It will help you find your way in the world. Now get out there and have some fun. Love, Granny. Thanks, Granny. That is reassuring, actually. Significantly so. Alright, must build the map. There's a fork in the road. Don't mind if I do. On the road again. Hey, you've made it over here? Every plant has its own rhythm if you pay attention. Listen. Gab aces. Back ages. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, alright. Cabbages. You hear that? They're already growing twice as fast. Now quit interrupting me. <laughs> Let's check out this fork in the road. Two ways to go. Woohoo! This class is the best. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna become a master plant collector like Munkar. This is a lunar lotus. It blooms in the moonlight and burrows underground during the day. Wow. Oh, hello there. Don't mind us. We're just in the middle of class. Are you looking for Mo? This is his usual route home. Just follow the curved roads and you'll see his tent. Sometimes he stops by the river though. You can follow the straight roads there. Oh, and please tell him that his sheep got into my cabbages again. Got it. So, curved roads normally, straight roads by the river. What is this? Curved roads to tents? Well, then what's the other sign? Straight roads to bridge. What thing did I get? Well, I got a straight road to a bridge. Sure. To the bridge. Oh? Well... I guess I could reassemble the path, since I do have some curved roads and straight roads. Yeah, you know, I do have some extra roads. Let's take this, have this go towards the tent, and have this go as a straight road to the bridge. I mean, why not? Okay, what's up? Hmm. Don't interrupt my secret mission. I mean, uh, my regular normal task that I definitely can't talk about. 
Look, I really can't say anything. Just I'm looking for the head of the river. We heard that a special plant appears there under the right conditions. And that it might be the ghost lily. But that's all I can tell you. Nothing else. I have to get back to the mission. I'm so close. Okay, so ghost lily appears at night at the head of the river. And what's this? No road ahead. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a dead end. Well, I've got a curved road. So I can make it up here. That's quite alright. There's the house. Wait, so hear me out. Hear me out. What if I just move the house? I could just place it like here. But nah, I gotta give him road access. It's rude to cut off a man's transportation. I'll just go the long way. Okay, we found the hut. Doors open, come on in. You made it! I tried to get some shut-eye, but Penelope kept farting. Are you sure you didn't give her any red devils? Anyways, I want to introduce you to my father. He's collected plants from all over. Maybe you can help him find some new ones. He's just through the curtain over there. Wait a second. Is this adjustable? Oh my god, it is. Incredible. Oh, I can't rotate the house. But I can set it up like this. Nice. Very nice. Welcome. My son Mo tells me you helped him find his sheep. My thanks, young sapling. Oh, don't be shy. Whomever comes to this grassland is our friend. My name is Munkar the Mighty, a mighty fine plant collector, that is. Wham! I regularly travel to other grasslands with my buddies to research plants. We also exchange seeds with other tribes so that they can grow every type of plant. We're always keeping an eye out for new species. Just yesterday, we discovered a new type of rose. Now, if only we could come up with any other name for it. But enough about me. Tell me about your grassland. Wait, don't say a word. I bet I can guess where you're from. I haven't seen a robe like that before. Did you come from across the ocean? The seaweed in your hair was a dead giveaway. Hmm, but which island? Don't tell me. I have an idea. Oh, monk are you clever cactus. My notebook in the other room is a compendium, compendium of the plants I've encountered in my travels. Have a look at it and tell me if you recognize any plants from your hometown. From that, surely I can surmise where you hail from. Notebook in the other room. What's in the book? You got dad's permission to read his notebook. Lucky. A thick notebook filled with handwritten notes about different plants. Dancing pines that sway to the rhythms of the wind. Sometimes sashaying into adjacent forests. The sour potato. Only one can grow every square mile, having absorbed the ambient sourness of all surrounding plant life. False moss. Not actually moss at all, but a carpet of pygmy grasshoppers, gooseberries that taste horrible, and so, so many more. Okay, I looked at the book. Quite none of these seem familiar. This may shock him. Did you find my notebook? Mm-hmm. You didn't see any plants from your island in there? How is that possible? What exotic land have you traveled from? What manner of flora grows there? You'll never know. <laughs> uh, such a curiosity you are, I can see why Mo brought you to me. Perhaps you can help me with something. A unique plant grows in each grassland, and ours is the mysterious ghost lily. It glows with the most beautiful light, but it is as ephemeral as its name. Stomach growls. Oh, you poor, poor girl, you must be famished. Look at me prattling on about plants. Will you stay for dinner and bunk here for the night? We can save the plant talk for dinner time, or we can talk about not plants. Mo, dad, can you rustle up some dinner and set an extra place for our guest? In the meantime, can you do me a favor, young sampling? We ran out of glow leaf last night. I asked Ganga to fetch some from the forest, but he's been gone for a while. Can you please check on him? I'm going to get some air in the meantime. I can't be away from nature for too long. And that's the dude on the secret mission. And I guess I got to find some glow leaf. But I imagine I got to actually talk to Ganga about that. Oh, what the? It's a teleportation hut. Okay, they, they were talking about he's like by the forest, right? Was he in the forest or by the forest? Here, so here's how it's going to go then. I'm going to create a whole forest. That might be good enough. Because there's only three forest places. Can't do too much more. Wait, are you Ganga? Pew! This forest smells like Uncle Ganga. Okay. Well, he's around here somewhere. You're definitely not un Uncle Ganga. Look over here. I saw Uncle Ganga go into this forest. I guess I could try to... Con 
join all the forests. I, right, the map creation. Oh, it's the head of the river. Ooh, okay. I'll just, you know, connect the water for continuity purposes. Yeah, I, I gotta remember to actually create map pieces. That mechanic is gonna take some getting used to. There he is. What's good? Aha. Uh -huh. I finally found the head of the river. My, is it dinner time already? Time flies when you're solving mysteries. I guess I should come eat, but I can't wait to explore the river tomorrow. Though I don't think these little urchins will let me go. Would you mind bringing this glow leaf to Monkar for me? Thanks. Okay, let's head back to Monkar. Here's how it's gonna go then. Let's set this up here. And set this up here. Just because I don't remember which hut it is. Oh wait, they connect though. What am I worried about? What am I worried about? Alright, well I brought you your leaf. He's not... He's outside, surely? Ah, some glow leaf. You must have found Ganga. This is what we use to let everyone know it's time for dinner. It tastes like the riverbed, but it has the most alluring aroma. Nice. Ooh. It's becoming nighttime. We could find a ghost plant. Just clapping out of rhythm. <laughs> I can't pick it up. Woo, I'm stuffed. Did you like my prairie pie? My mom taught me how to make it before she passed on. It always reminds me of her. She's among the stars now. La 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 la. How do you like our singing? This is the song of growth. We sing it in harmony with the grasslands. Dad says that every land is a voice if you listen closely. Mom taught him to sing with the seeds and he's gonna teach me soon. Can't wait. Okay, no ghost leaf for me. Rise and shine. Nice that they just kind of accepted me into the family. We have a very exciting situation developing at the river. Ganga spotted a ghost lily in bloom. Everyone's on their way there. Come join us. Okay. Hey, was it good? Morning. Hey, I found the head of the river. I'm hiding now. Why? Shh. I've heard that this plant is very shy. Oh. Let's keep quiet, everyone. Yes, very quiet. Isn't this cool? We'd better hide. This is so thrilling. I can't wait to teach my class all about it. I would have brought them with, but they're way too noisy. Does everyone have a hiding spot? I have space over here. Shh. I'm so confused. Oh. I see now. Oh, is this a portal? Bah. <gasps> no. No. The sheep. Bradley, what did you do? It's okay, sheep. You didn't know. Oh, well, there it is. It got stuck. It seems stuck. I guess I'll untangle it. It's the right thing to do. Um... Oh. Oh. Um. What? <laughs> Is that the end of that island? Surely not. If that's just another family I've left behind, then so be it. Take that with me. Wow. Okay, on to a new section. How about that? I hear the sound coming from the east. I guess I'll go check that out. 